bitch is mad cause I'm with it. If it's new, then I'm in it. Hold stay at my feet. I'm on demon time, got you bitches. Hey beautiful people, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another BBL update. So it's been, it's been about two months since I updated y'all on my, oops, the puppies here. Back up, I'm trying to talk to my people. Do you want to say hey to them? Anyways, back to what I was saying. Okay, so it's been about two months since I updated y'all on my BBL journey and a lot has changed since then. But before we get into the update and all the other things that I have to tell y'all about, let's check out Coco. <laughs> Before we begin, make sure if you're new here, you like, comment, and subscribe. You already know the vibes. And if you're returning, I thank you so much, girl. So let's get into this six month BBL Lipo 360 update. You've seen Coco. Coco is sitting beautifully. So let's talk about it. So in what, I think in the first video I made, I was speaking about how I sat since day two or whatnot, and somebody had left a comment and was saying that they think that people say stuff like that to sabotage people's results, and that is not the case. I did start sitting at day two, and I've been sitting since, and my butt is soft. It jiggles. It's still round, and it's still fat. If you learn anything from me, that is to sit honey it's not going to affect your results period <laughs> leave the negativity somewhere else <laughs> as you saw i do have on my waist wrap i wear my waist wrap instead of like a waist trainer i had a waist trainer i sent it back because it was just i just don't like that bonding it hurts so bad so i wear my waist wrap all day every day all night i wear my waist wrap and that's been working well for me but I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, okay? Let me keep it real with y'all. I've been slacking on my massages, so my stomach is still hard in the middle. Mm, mm, mm. Don't be me. Keep getting your massages for like six months, the entire six months. Because I stopped getting massages probably a month and a half ago, and I shouldn't have done that. So I scheduled an appointment for next week. So we better just get this ball back rolling because, yeah. I don't want no scar tissue and I don't want no lumpy belly. Like, no, get your massages. Second thing, okay, excessive food with high sodium. Stay away from it. I've always been an eater. I'm a girl that likes to eat. I likes to eat, okay? So, another thing learn from me, don't overeat because when I came back, from surgery, I just continue eating the way I always been eating and not slowing down, eating the same food. So that 26, 27 waist that I got, that I wanted, I haven't gotten there yet. I'm still at a good 28, okay? So don't eat high, don't eat food with high sodium. You're gonna be mad because what you eat goes straight to where it's where you don't want it to be your stomach and your butt your butt's gonna get bigger and that brings me to this case the fluff fairy 
I don't think the fluff fairy is real. I think as you are, as your body is changing, your butt settles, and you, what are you eating? And so for me, I just kept on eating, child. So I'm, I'm still gaining weight. So there's that. So my butt is plump and big because I can't slow down eating. So I don't think fluff fairy is real. I think, I think, I think that's a hoax. I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't think it's real, y'all. Excessive drinking as well. I still don't really drink. Um, I'm still like, I've always been an occasional drinker, so I haven't really drank a lot since I've had surgery still. But I do know that drinking swells you up. That's another thing. I still swell up. Oh, my gosh. I don't know when it's ever going to stop, actually. I swell up. And it don't have to always be about what I eat. Sometimes I just swell up because I need a good massage. So don't drink a lot when um, after you have surgery. Cause swelling. And you don't want none of that because swelling is so painful. About pain. So right now, my pain is a, a three. Three out of ten. I'm not really in no real pain. I still have growing pains is what I call them. In my hips. And then I still have pains in my stomach, like sharp pains, but it's very rare nowadays. So I'm happy about that. My stomach, because I haven't had massages in a while, is very tender. Like it's very tender. You can't hug me really hard without me saying, oof, that hurt. Stop. You know what I mean? So that's one thing. Again, keep getting your massages. Incisions. So my doctor, how many, how many incisions do I have? I have four on my back one on the top of my butt two right here which i really think i have three right here because i think he did one in the middle it seemed like there's a little scar right there but the ones on the sides on my hips are flat it's just they're dark but y'all the ones on my back there's two on my back oh my gosh they feel like big old knots and i've always been a person like with piercings and stuff like that i keloid so two of them keloided and they itch really, really bad. And I try not to scratch them because I don't want them to get any bigger. I might show y'all a picture of them or insert a little video of them right here. But if I don't, whatever. Um, so I try not to scratch them because I don't want them to get any bigger than what they already are. So I just rub them. But the incisions are... For me, ugh, one of the worst things because when I wear a shirt, if I have a bathing suit on, people are going to know, like, oh, she got a baby girl, you know? She got a baby girl. I've been trying to use some kind of, like, scar treatment. I've been using the, what are they called? Use the little silicone scar things. They don't ever really last. They always fall off. And I try to use the scar kick with the micro needling. I've been doing it a lot with the ones in the front. The ones in the back, I can't reach them, so I haven't been doing it. Excuse my hands. Y'all know I talk with my hands. But the only thing I don't like about the micro needling is that it gets really, really dark. And it looks like it's scarring again before it gets better. And, yeah, I'm not liking that. So I stopped doing that, and now I'm just putting oil on and letting it be what it is. Maybe one day I'll get the keloid burnt off or something like that that's what i'm thinking i want to do like keep get the keloid burnt off the keloid getting burnt off don't keloid again anyways another thing with my incisions my doctor dr garani let's talk about it um my incisions are everywhere <laughs> like it's one at the top one like this one at the bottom one like this like they just they're not even that's the only bad thing about the ones on my back. They're just all over. Like, I don't understand why he didn't have them even. But, you know, whatever. That's another thing about my incisions that I don't like. I want to update y'all on my faha burn. So, my faha burn is completely healed, honey. You can't even tell it was there. Well, you can tell it was there because the skin is a little darker. 
still than my regular skin but for the most part you can't tell that was there thank god i'm so glad it healed properly if you didn't catch my last video about my faha burn i got a faha burn because i was too swollen and i was wearing the foams and the foams and the faha was just i guess the friction on my skin it burnt my skin in many places you can go back and watch that video so i would just suggest people to wait to use not so swell not so swollen to wear your phones but i really wasn't a phone girl anyways after that happened i didn't wear my phones no more mm -mm. even when the swelling went down i just didn't wear my phones the phones really aren't necessary like they say they are as long as you have a good faha that's snatching you in and it's tight and snug you really don't need those phones you really don't even need an ad board but you know y'all listen to what your doctor says I think it was two videos before this one. I had, I was talking about dents. So I was getting, I was doing contouring to get this dent out of my side. Don't know how that happened, but I think it was from the lipo. Sometimes they say lipo does that. It makes dents in your stomach, but it can go away when um, you just do your massages and you know, do contouring, focus on that area. So the dent is for the most part gone. Like you, it's not as prominent as it was. But like I said, I still need to keep getting my massages. So I'm going to show y'all how my stomach looks in a little bit. And I'm going to show y'all where the dent is. I'm going to show y'all my scars, whatever. I was like one, one and a half, two months in. And I noticed that my hips were uneven, right? Oh my gosh. So I noticed that my hips were uneven. And I was very unhappy. So I sent the pictures to the nurse. And she was like, oh, that's completely normal. Wait three months. They will settle, right? Three months come. I mean, three months on the dot. It, it was the three-month day. And I sent her an update. And I was like, my hips are still uneven. I had one hip that was literally higher than the other. It was just, I'm going to insert a picture. So she was like, oh. When I sent her the updated picture, she was like, oh. Send it to Dr. Garani on his Instagram or whatever. So I sent him the pictures of me and I was showing him like circling how my hips were uneven. <laughs> Chai got mad, honey. He was like, are you serious? And I was like, I'm for real, for real serious. That man did not write me back. That man did not write me back. I think he got mad at me because I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like what's going on? So in his surgery group on Facebook, before I even sent him the um, message on his surgery group on Facebook, I had, you know, made a status and it was like, hey, is anybody in here ever, you know, had uneven hips? So many girls in the comments were saying like, oh, I have, um, he's known for that. It's like, what? It was like, he's known for giving uneven hips. Some girls were saying like, they think the assistant be working on you and not him sometimes. Get off. I'm in production. Stop. Mars want to say hey to y'all so bad. Say hey. <laughs> say hey to the people. Say hey to the people, Mars, right there. Did you want to see him so bad? Say hey. <laughs> the ladies in the group were saying how, oh yeah, he's known for that. They think that his assistant be working on you sometimes when he get tired. And I was just like, dang, like, oh my gosh. And then I showed them the picture. They was like, oh, I can see it, but it's not, you know, I would never notice if you didn't say nothing. And so that's when I sent him the message. And like I said, I think he was upset at me because I said something to him. But I do want to update y'all about my hips. So my hips have evened out. <laughs> they have evened out. However, I do have one hip that's more rounder than the other. So that's the thing about surgery. You know what I'm saying? I had, I had hips before. But, you know, I had like a little dip. So, I feel like on one of my hips, I feel like, I don't know, is it the left one? The left hip, my hip dip came back. And the right one, the fat stuck to the, the way he wanted it to be. <clears throat> like round. It stuck more than that one. Even though it's not noticeable to anybody else. I'm going to try to, I'm going to show y'all. It's not noticeable to nobody else. 
you can I still see it I still know it you know what I'm saying and that brings me to this point before surgery this is how I looked and I had a lot of cellulite I just had a lot of cellulite cellulite booty is what I had so that's the one thing you have to remember when you have surgery if you have whatever you have you have to remember that it may take multiple rounds to get rid of it so me I had a lot of cellulite and even though my butt is big, juicy, plump, all the day above, my cellulite is there. But I'm actually okay with it because even though you can see my scars if I don't have a shirt on, I feel like the cellulite makes it look a little more natural. So I'm not mad at it. I, you know, whatever it is, what it is. But you remember that if you have cellulite before and it's your round one, the cellulite may come back. Okay, so don't get mad when you be like, oh, my cellulite came back. That is a possibility, a very high possibility, okay? I don't know if this happened to anybody else, but my butt is a little more hairy than it used to be. Not my cheeks, but like in between my crack. It's a little hairy. I didn't have hair right there before. I never really had hair on my butt crack, but cheeks, period. But now you, I can feel the hair. <laughs> TMI, but whatever. That's what you're here for. Okay? So you may get some unusual hair growth as well. Okay? First, I'm going to show y'all my stomach. Then, oops. I'm going to show y'all my stats as of today. So this is my stomach. Okay, you see the dent is still right there. I'm gonna work on that. And then you can see how um, it looks a little lumpy. And right here, I need to work on that. And this is what I was talking about, y'all. I gained a little fat back, but whatever. Oh, it's hard, but you can't tell. Well, I guess you can tell. You see how hard it is? But anyways, there's that. This is me without the waist trainer. My hips. Okay. So let's get into these measurements. My hips as of today are, <laughs> if I'm doing this right, and I think I am, cause it's at the widest part. You measure at the widest part. Wait, hold on. If I measure at the widest part, I'm a 45 and a half. Let me see y'all, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Yes, I'm at a 45 and a half. I was a 44 after surgery, so only gained an inch and a half. You see, that's the point I'm making. I was a 44 after surgery. I sat since day two, and I'm a 45 and a half. So what fat did I lose? Hmm. Listen to me, girl. All right, to the stomach. Little stomach or whatever. Yep, I'm still at 28. That's another thing, y'all. Oh my gosh. Your girl trying to catch your breath. Before surgery, I had endurance. I was kind of in shape. Kind of. But after surgery, I lost it all, y'all. Everything wears me out. <laughs> I be so out of breath. 
I don't know if it's because I'm carrying all this ass or what, but I be all out of breath. That's another thing I'm about to get into. I'm about to start doing some yoga. I'm about to go get stretched more and continue getting my massages until I feel like I'm soft as butter. So it's just been a really, really long ride. I'm only six months and I still got six more months to go till I'm a year. And they say you don't really see and know your real true results until a whole year. So if I was to have another round, yeah, I'm not planning on having another round. I don't even care to have another round. Like I'm happy with my results. I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. But if I was to have another round, I would have another round of Lipo 360. And yes, I would. <laughs> and I would do right next time. Um, and I would also just get some more fat added to the, to like right here with my butt. That's it. But like I said, I'm happy with my results. Thank God my round one is really damn near perfect. But shout out to the GOAT. Even though he got mad at me, shout out to him because he know what to do. So y'all, I really think that's it. Like this is a real quick update. Nothing too crazy has happened. I still, so let's just, let's just go over what we talked about. I sat since day two. I still have my fat. My butt is still shaped right. It's still round, juicy, plump, all that. We said that. Okay, you saw you saw that. Um, I'm not gonna have a round two. Don't need it. My scars are aggy. They're all over the place and they itch. I'm about to get my massages back in rotation so my stomach can get soft because it's still a little hard. Um, and I want to get my waist snatched even more. I'm, I'm really going to get to that. Y'all, stick around for my journey because it's still going to happen. Like, I'm going to do these. Y'all, I thought I was not going to keep doing these BBL videos. But clearly, I got to keep doing them because you really do. Everything changes. So, I'm going to do them up to a year maybe. You whatever. We'll see. Okay? Just stick around. Make sure you subscribe. Okay? And turn those post notifications on, baby. So, um, I'm not going to get around to as of right now. You feel me? And um, that's really it. Because I'm still eating the way I want to eat. <laughs> that's not changed. It, for some reason, it seems like surgery make you more hungry. <laughs> it could all be in my head. But it feel like it made me more hungry. And I'm, I am was already a hungry girl. So, yeah. What am I calling it? Um, oh, wow. That was a little thirsty. Okay. This is a quick update. I just wanted to see it. I wanted to show y'all how I look right now at six months and what's been going on. And that's really all that's been going on. I love my results. I'm happy. I made the right decision. Until the next video update. <laughs> I see you girls later.